I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Village Board for December 15th, 2020. Could you please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? United States of America. To the Republic. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to do call it off the last one. And then you can also, you can also email me whenever you have three uh, seconds when you have your wonders questions. Um, you guys, there's some background music noise. Who is the, who is this that? Not me. All right. Okay. Village clerk, would you please call the roll? Uh, President De Simone here. Uh, uh, Trustee Carmona here. Trustee Franz here. Uh, Trustee Fry here. Trustee Hanacola here. Trustee Perez here. And Trustee Lomax is absent. At this time, we'll move the public comment. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. Do we have public comment? No, I don't, I don't have any. Do we have any online public comment? No, we do not. So this will conclude public comment. Number one is, uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes from the Nove November 17th, 2020 Village Board meeting? You have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Are there any modifications to the minute minutes? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and minutes are approved. On to the next item of business, it is to approve the warrant in the amount of $6,744,096.98. Is there a motion to approve the warrant? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. There, is there uh, any discussion on this warrant? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and the warrant is approved. There are no items on the consent agenda under administration ordinance of the village of Bensonville, DuPage and Cook Counties, Illinois, approving a 50% reduction in the liquor license renewal fees to provide economic relief to the business community. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. There being a motion and a second. Any discussion, Evan? Yes. So, Mayor, this one comes from you. This is your uh, uh, your concept that you came up with. We know that our bars and restaurants are hurting due to the uh, restrictions placed on us by the pandemic. Uh, so this year is a temporary one-time relief of 50% of the liquor license fees. Um, if they have already paid the full amount, we will reimburse them. If they haven't paid, they'll pay 50% of what they normally would. The feedback, and I think Corey can attest to this, has been overwhelmingly positive from our restaurants. They uh, really appreciate this. This is the right thing to do for us to stand up for our restaurants. Thank you. Any, uh, any comments from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. This motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number two is a resolution by the Bensonville Tax Consortium authorizing intervention in property tax assessment appeals. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? So I serve as the chairman of the Bensonville Tax Consortium. That is a group of the Bensonville taxing bodies that represents us when there is an egregious appeal of their taxes and on a commercial business. Um, we have been served by legal counsel of Henshaw for a number of years. Recently, Henshaw has had a number of um, conflicts of interest because of their clients they represent. We uh, mutually determined that it was best to go our separate ways. We are bringing on our secondary attorney, Mallory Maluzzi of Kleinthorpe and Jenkins to represent the consortium. Eventually, we will come back to the board for a new IGA for the consortium. For years, the fire district has not been a member with the new fire chief coming on board. He wants to be a member of the consortium, so we'll update that at a later date. This simply allows us to uh, be represented by Klein, Thorpe, and Jenkins at the tax appeals. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. 
Under Community and Economic Development, so ordinance approving a paved parking area of variation at 146 South Mason. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being an emotion, a motion and a second. Is there any discussion, Scott? Welcome. Yeah. Uh, Mayor, good evening, everybody. Um, this is 146 South Mason Streets, the lovely blue home on the southwest corner of Grove Avenue and uh, and Mason Street, zoned by Catherine and Stephen Sears currently. Uh, the request is for a uh, parking area in the corner side yard. Uh, the corner side yard in this R3 district is 10 feet, although the house is set back further than that. The existing gravel parking area that they do intend to pave is between the house and the 10 feet, which results in the, uh, the request for the variation. You'll see in your packet there are some large evergreen trees to the south of this parking area, which prohibits it from being slid back to eliminate the need for the variation. Uh, the staff had uh, recommended approval of this request. We had a public hearing on the first of this month. Uh, there were no public in attendance, although if you indulge me for a moment, we did receive an email comment. Uh, I'll read it to you. The, there's absolutely no reason not to approve the variation. I have lived across the street for 49 years and their property has never looked more beautiful. Thank you uh, from the resident 138. South Mason, we concur with her. The CDC found the findings of fact were appropriate, recommended approval five to zero of the request, two conditions, one, engineering, slope towards the alley, of course, and then two, add some landscaping to the north to screen the cars from the Grove Avenue sidewalk. It is 14 feet away from that, that, uh, that property line. So we recommend approval of this ordinance. I will say the homeowners are here in the audience with us today. Welcome, and your home is gorgeous. So thank you for doing all you do on it. Perfect, guys. Uh, any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number two is a resolution authorizing a contract with B&F Construction Code Services Incorporated for plan review and inspectional services. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. Being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Scott? Yeah, my turn. Uh, this is, as you may know, we, we do hire outside plan review consultants and uh, uh, inspectoral services for our building department functions. Uh, as an aside, we, we do 97% of the plan review in-house on average. So uh, this is about 3% of our overall uh, plan reviews. For, for the last five years, we've had one consultant. We went out for uh, uh, requests for proposals. We received five quality proposals of uh, five different firms. Um, we interviewed three of those firms. We found that BNF Construction Code Services out of Elgin, Illinois, was the best fit for us. They provided the best customer service, and they're certainly competent. They're the uh, really the primary training school for inspectors in this area as well. Our inspectors go to their, their training classes. Uh, they do provide a 24-hour notice. Uh, others required 48. As you may know, we've had 24 for a number of years here. 10-day plan review and no uh, additional review fees for secondary or tertiary plan review, which is, which is our process. So um, it is a contract subject to final, excuse me, engineering, final attorney review. Uh, we recommend approval of this contract with BNF Construction Code Services in Elgin. Just wanna add, this is, um, these are always pass-through fees. So we are always reimbursed by the contractor, developer, property owner for these things. But I am proud that the pricing came in good. It just shows how we are business friendly. Um, we are trying to keep the cost down for our residents and our businesses when they do, uh, do improvements to their property. Yeah, I should I should note these 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 fees are the same or less than we have currently on the books from from this company. So it's a good thing for all of us. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona. Yes. Trustee Franz. Yes. Trustee Fry. Yes. Trustee Penacola. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. That's five. Motion carries. Resolution is approved. Number three is an ordinance approving a plat of dedication of property from the for the purpose of widening Eastview Avenue from Irving Park Road to Main Street. Is there a motion to approve this ordinance? You have a motion. I have a second. Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? 
Uh, it's Ms. Mayor, we're, we're able to get this 25 foot dedication from the owners of uh, Gem Car Wash, which uh, the board approved a few months back. It's a $5 million investment on Irving Park Road, the 900 block. East U Avenue is uh, not a full right of way, not a full 60 or 66 feet currently. So this 25 feet will allow enough space for us to eventually widen East U Avenue to a full width to provide better access to the residential neighborhood, I'll say to the south. Um, not a whole lot to it. This was a condition of their approval of the special of the uh, variations for the car wash. So uh, we do have the plan in your packet. We recommend this be approved. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona. Yes. Trustee Franz. Yes. Trustee Fry. Yes. Trustee Penicola. Yes. Trustee Perez. Yes. That's five. Motion carries and ordinance is passed. Number four is the ordinance authorizing the vacation of a portion of Main Street near the intersection of Main Street and Eastview. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion and a second, is there discussion? Uh, th this is a tandem uh, request to the dedication. Uh, the the uh, Main Street right of way was undeveloped south of, of the, uh, the car wash site, um, about 33 feet in width. It's uh, not developed, it's not continuous, it's cut off as you go to the west. So the street will never go in. So it's a surplus property, if you will. So uh, the village has agreed to vacate this and, and convey the property to the Gem Car Wash to facilitate that, 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 that uh, construction. And uh, we did have a public hearing as required. Uh, members of Joe Montana staff was here at Village Hall with Deputy Clerk uh, Williamson and myself. Uh, the public hearing was held on November 23rd. We did have no one present at that public hearing, although I did have conversations with the owners of 112 Eastview to the south who would have the opportunity to seek to acquire the property. They had no interest in acquiring the, the 33 feet. And so the, the, excuse me, the vacation can move forward to allow us to do the, uh, I'll call it the land swap, if you will, with Jim Carwash for the Eastview right of way and this right of way there basically the same square footage. One's a little longer, one's a little wider, but they're basically the same in area. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. <laughs> Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Under finance, there's a resolution establishing the Refuse recycling and yard waste rates and, and uh, with Republic Services for the Village of Bentonville, effective January 1st, 2021. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Being a motion and a second, is there discussion? Welcome, Julie. Good evening. Uh, we have our waste collection services with Republic Services. Um, their contract calls for a 3% increase uh, coming into the beginning of next year. As part of our budget, we also planned a 3% increase on the rates for customers. Uh, that will cause an average customer to have an increased bill of 73 cents. It will generate an additional $32,000, which um, will be used to offset the increase in the cost. Um, it may be important to note that this is the only increase that we're putting through on village residents. Uh, for this coming year due to the COVID. I will note that it does have the senior discount so the seniors will only see a 62 cent increase. Any questions from the board? Thank you, Julie. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Trustee Perez? Yes, yes. That's five. Motion carries resolution is approved. Number two is a resolution authorizing a settlement and release agreement with KMS Investments LLC for the 2019 hotel tax payment uh, arrears. Uh, is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. There being a motion and a second uh, discussion, please. Um, so our, we only have two hotels within the village. Uh, we have had some difficulty with getting payment through for their taxes on a regular basis. Um, so I think earlier this year, we had presented an update to our code 
showing that we were going to support a taxpayer bill of rights. And after that, uh, I have proceeded with the our legal counsel to uh, start to do collection efforts on the two hotels. During that process, the owner approached us and asked if we could uh, figure out a way for them to pay over time due to the COVID impacts to their revenues. So we worked with them and agreed to some terms, which we've factored into the agreement that you're looking at right now for them to pay a little bit up front and then pay the rest later. Um, in total, we were about $280,000 in arrears to begin with. The owner has come in and made good completely on one hotel uh, already and put in 50,000 on the other hotel. So this agreement ends up with about $180,000 being paid over time. Um, it should be paid all through next year. And there are conditions in there that they have to become current with their more current filings as well. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries a resolution is approved. Uh, we do not have a report for the Police Department Public Works. Uh, under recreation, there's a resolution authorizing a, an amendment to the agreement with the Chicago Blues Hockey Club. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, do we have discussion? Uh, good morning, good, good evening, everyone. Um, yes, this is just a, um, a resolution to change the Chicago Blues agreement with the village of Bensonville due to the reduction in a full-time employee and the rec staff. Um, they're gonna be paying a little bit less money on ice time, but we are going to be saving um, $76,000 on our payroll fees. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. It's five. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. Uh, moving on to the presidential remarks, it's that time of year again where we where we award a couple of prizes for our holiday decorating contest. Um, so this year's holiday home decorating contest winners, uh, our first place winner is Jeffrey Brylowski uh, on Dolores Drive. He's our first place winner. And our runner up will be Stephen Matusiak, who is on Mason Street. Congratulations. Beautiful decorating jobs over at both homes. And we will be mailing out your certificates shortly. Congratulations to our winners. So moving on from that, we also have a map of all of our decorated homes on our website. This map will stay up through the holidays for all residents to use. Our residents did an outstanding job decorating this year, just like they did at Halloween. So we appreciate that bringing some holiday spirit aboard. Uh, next Sunday, December 20th at 2 p.m., it's the Village's annual holiday ice show. So see the Village website for more information. And a couple of things I'd like to add, um, if you've driven downtown lately, You've noticed that we did put up the uh, ice skating rink. So this is where I, I, I'm torn, where I pray for freezing cold weather, but I really don't want freezing cold weather. So uh, that hopefully will freeze and we can be using that shortly. And uh, this is our last board meeting of the year. So everybody that joins us, everybody that watches at home, I want from myself, our village board, and everybody at village, in the village of Bethel, we want to wish you a happy holiday, a safe holiday. Uh, and uh, we're going to do our best to make 2021 as best year as possible. Um, so thank you for uh, honoring us by uh, us honoring you guys uh, to be your, uh, your elected leaders. Uh, with that being said, that concludes my public comment. Do we have anything from the village manager's report? I'll have to follow that up, but I do have a few housekeeping items as usual. COVID testing continues with the V&A's mobile testing center Tuesdays and Thursdays at St. Alexis Church parking lot. Testing is by appointment only. See our website for more information. Vehicle stickers are on sale now through the end of the year. They can be purchased in person by mail or online. All online qualifies for a $2 discount. We encourage that to keep everyone socially distant and safe and save a little bit of money. And during next week's holiday schedule, Village Hall will be closed December 24th through the 26th. And again, from December 31st through January 2nd. And then we will hit the ground running in 2021 for a better year. 
That concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank you, Evan. Uh, do we have a village attorney's report? I have no report, Mr. President. Is there any unfinished business to come before the board tonight? Is there any new business to come before the board tonight? Is there a need for executive session? There is not. All right, with that being said, is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? We have a motion. Do I have a second? You have, have a, a second. second. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Once again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody out there. This adjourns our meeting. Thank you, guys.